A sequence is a list of numbers written in a specific order. The elements or terms of this sequence can appear multiple times and at different positions. The terms are denoted as follows. A1 is the first term. A2 the second term. A3 the third term. AN the nth. AN plus 1 the n plus 1 term and so forth. With AN referred to as the general term. So consider the sequence 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here we have that a1 or the first term equals 1, A2 the second term equals 2, A3 the third term equals 3. And here we can see that there is a clear pattern emerging, 1 then 2, 3 then 4. And hence we can say in general that AN in fact equals N. A series is the sum of the terms of a sequence. Given an infinite sequence AN, an infinite series is the result of adding all these terms together, i.e. a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so forth. This can be written more compactly using the symbol sigma. So for instance, we could have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a n. Consider the infinite series formed from the sequence a n equals 1 over 2 to the n where n is 0, 1, 2, and so forth, i.e. 1 over 2 to the power of 0, or 1, plus 1 over 2 to the power of 1, so 1 over a half, plus 1 over 2 to the power of 2, so plus a quarter, plus 1 over 2 to the power of 3, so 1 over 8, and so forth. The partial sum of the first two terms, denoted S2, is 1 plus a half, so 1.5. Similarly, S3 is 1 plus a half plus a quarter, so 1.75. So for S2 we've 1.5, S3 1.75, S4 1.875, S10 is 1.99890, and S20 is 1.9999990. In fact, as we calculate Sn for larger and larger values of n, this sum tends towards 2. Hence we can say that the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 2 to the n equals 2 and that the series converges to the value or the limit of 2. However, it is not always so easy to calculate the potential finite sum of an infinite series and instead over the next few videos criterion will be introduced to determine if a series converges or not. But finally, the opposite of convergence is divergence. Consider the example, the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 2 to the n. So 2 to the 0, plus 2 to the 1, plus 2 to the 2, plus 2 to the 3, and so forth. Or simply 1 plus 2, plus 4, plus 8, and so on. So we have s2 is 3, s3 is 7, s4 is 15, s10 is over a thousand. S20 is over a million, and S50 is 2.8 by 10 to the 14. Here we can see that as n gets larger, the sum keeps on getting larger and larger, and in fact, the sum from 0 to infinity of 2 to the n is infinity. And here we say that the series is divergent, i.e. the series does not have a finite limit.